Hi, you're watching Anyverse English. Before delving into the story, let me provide a brief introduction. This man goes by the name Bai Chi, a game streamer. Though sharing his name with the God of Slaughter, his fate took a brutal turn when he was mercilessly killed by a mysterious individual, all because of a game that had earned him millions of fans, the Son of the Throne. Upon reopening his eyes, Bai Chi found himself reborn into his level 1 secondary account which had spawned in a level 30 instant dungeon within the game. He was immediately faced with numerous formidable adversaries. 1. Hidden Rarity, Wiggly Tooth Fusion Beast, Level 25. 2. Plague Beast Clan Leader, Blood Axe Modic, Level 30. How could Baichi escape? With his combat skill, Scarlet Flame, he must strategize to overcome these challenges and reclaim his former status as king. Finally, after uniting the eight nations, the king ascended to the supreme throne of the souls. Congratulations, you are the first king to sit on the throne of the souls. Your rewards have been distributed and can only be used under specific circumstances. Finally, I did it dash, Bai Chi exclaimed, feeling a surge of accomplishment. He truly lived up to his name. Congratulations poured in for his remarkable achievement. Many speculated that he might be the first player to successfully clear the game. Young Master Huashin even joined the live stream to celebrate the moment. However, amidst the jubilation, a mysterious figure suddenly appeared and stabbed by Chi. Blood spurted from his mouth as he gasped, Who are you? Why? Uh. The assailant retorted, You are but an ant, yet you aspire to be a king? Your sin is unforgivable. You must perish. In the hospital, urgent voices rang out, wounded 20-year-old male, suffering massive internal bleeding. Give him first aid now. His heart rate has dropped to zero. Perform CPR. Three, two, one. Again. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Ugga dash. With each CPR attempt, Bai Chi felt himself being transported back into the game. As he opened his eyes, confusion clouded his mind. What's going on? I vaguely recall being stabbed by someone. But what is happening now? Where am I? Surveying his surroundings, he recoiled in horror. I am, on piles of corpses? Is this hell? I have never done anything bad in my previous life. Why am I in hell then? Suddenly, a wave of intense pain washed over him. A dash? Me? Who am I? A dash. My head hurts so much. It feels like my head is being ripped apart. What on earth? With a sudden realization, Bai Chi exclaimed, I remember now. My name is Bai Chi. I'm 20 years old and I used to be a game streamer. At first, I wasn't popular, but my fan base grew rapidly because of my recent live streams of a game, The Throne of the Souls, an open-world action RPG. The game is set in a medieval western fantasy world, with a storyline involving the sudden crash of an advanced alien ship, blending ancient civilization with futuristic technologies. Players love it for its unique world settings, captivating storyline, and top-notch visuals. However, the game's high difficulty has discouraged many players from experiencing it themselves. Instead, they flock to live streams to watch hosts endure its challenges. I also enjoyed the huge traffic I received, showcasing my skillful speed runs and providing the audience with a thrilling gaming experience. But just as I was steadily ascending to the peak, I was suddenly, mysteriously, killed. Lost in contemplation, the system prompted, You've died, yet you're still living. To be more precise, you've been reborn. Have you finally recovered from the negative effects of your rebirth? Bai Chi pondered, who's talking? This voice sounds familiar. The system interjected again, from a highly dimensional perspective. Every game ever created is its independent world. Recognizing the voice, Bai Chi exclaimed, you're the voice assistant from the Game Plus World game platform? The system confirmed, player Bai Chi, as your death automatically triggered the special reward you obtained from the Throne of Souls, the key of rebirth, you have been reborn into the world of the Throne of Souls. Throne of Souls, Bai Chi echoed in disbelief. I've been reborn into the world of the Throne of Souls. So, the special reward was rebirth. Even though I died under mysterious circumstances, I still got a chance to be reborn. But when I think about it, Bai Chi's expression soured. Why couldn't I be reborn in a world full of beautiful ladies and perks like the love game, summer heartbeat memory? Why must I be reborn into a hellish world like the throne of souls? It's better to just die already. At least I won't suffer. 
The system prompted, Key of Rebirth, is a special reward for the Throne of Souls. Other games don't offer this opportunity. Bai Chi sneered, Opportunity? I think it's more like misfortune. Don't you agree? I've learned that from my gaming experiences. He then questioned, Given the nature of this game, you don't offer benefits so easily. What is your true purpose? What do you want from me? The system replied, Quite simple. Just do your best and reclaim the Throne of Souls once again. By becoming king this time, you'll receive a more generous reward known as the Key of Time Travel. With this, the Game Plus World platform will allow you to travel through time and return to your original world. Bai Chi pressed further. All right, then why didn't you grant me such a reward from the start? Although I'm very interested in this reward, I can't do it. According to the Rebirth Protocol, there's no infinite rebirth mechanism in this game. In the world of the Throne of Souls, with its hellish difficulty, even a simple dog on the streets can kill me. The system interrupted. Although it's true that there is no infinite rebirth mechanism, you're not completely stupid. Under your account on the Game Plus World platform, there are 100 various types of runs, each with complete achievements. You can complete different tasks and goals at different levels of these 100 runs, allowing you to inherit their various abilities and equipment. Bai Chi was surprised. What? I could inherit the abilities and equipment of the 100 different runs I've achieved. Damn it. That's quite interesting. I can kind of feel the compassion now. I'm a fan of all of them. I don't specialize in my live streams just because the game type is popular. Bai Chi continued excitedly. So these 100 games cover almost all types, from popular to AAA level masterpieces, niche to independently produced ones, and even word games without visuals. If I could use the abilities and equipment of these characters in the world of the Throne of Souls, just thinking about it is making me excited. The system nodded in agreement, of course, you can also choose to be a civilian with no power. The final choice is yours. Bai Chi contemplated, a civilian? It seems safe, and you can stay away from the most dangerous bosses. But you'd also have to face fatal dangers such as disasters and famine, so it's not that much better. The system is playing with me. It throws that civilian option just to make me even more determined to follow the path of the king. Then he said, okay, no need to trick me anymore. I worked as a normal civilian for 20 years in my past life, and now that I am finally reborn, I can't do the same thing again. The last question I have is, are there any time limits or other related penalties for the path of becoming a king? The system replied, there are no time limits or penalties. So, player by Chi, are you sure you want to choose the path of becoming a king? Bai Chi affirmed, are you still asking? Of course, the answer is yes. The system prompted, contract has been signed. Player Bai Chi. I hope you ascend the throne of souls again soon. Hey, boy, a voice called out. Here, here. That's right, it's me, the one hanging upside down. Bai Chi questioned, who's talking? The figure hanging upside down responded, didn't you already die a few days ago? I thought you were going to start stinking, but why are you alive again? Are you reborn? But that doesn't matter. Since we're alive, quickly find a way to let us down before the beasts return to the cave. We have to leave this place, Wailing Cave, together first. He was Grey, level 21 Princess Guard Elf Mage. The boy behind him, named House, a level 22 Princess Guard Human Warrior, interjected, Are you kidding me, Grey? As the Royal Guard of Princess Mina, you expect a little timid boy to save you? Didn't you see how scared he was when he cried for his father and mother a few days ago? Damn it. If it wasn't for those traitors framing us, how would we have ended up like this? Damn it, Dash. The cat-like figure, named Daegu, at level 20, a princess guard cat beast, added, Ah, what princess Mina, what royal guards, that's completely pointless now. Let's just die like this. I'm tired, meow. With them was a lady named Mina, at level 12, who was the princess of the Kingdom of Stars, a human priest. As Bai Chi's gaze fell on her, he thought, Kingdom of Stars, Princess Mina. These names feel quite familiar. Wait, they're not NPCs you should meet as soon as you arrive. Also, this Wailing Cave isn't the original birthplace for beginners. That's simply too terrifying to even think about. If I had simply chosen the civilian path, wouldn't I have died as soon as I appeared? Wailing Cave. Level 20 to 30. Bai Chi. Level 1. Class. Not chosen. Bai Chi pondered, this truly is a hell-level difficulty, as unreasonable and shocking as expected. Rebirth is both the end and the beginning. 
Bai Qi, who is embarking on the path to becoming a king, is starting at a dead end. What's going on? The order of the main storyline is completely messed up now. Anka Village, Kafranka. Level, 1 to 10. Originally, the first chapter of the game's storyline should be being born in levels 1 to 10 in Anka Village. Burnt Jungle. Level, 10 to 20. Then, progress to levels 10 to 20 in the Burnt Jungle to complete quests and trigger a fourth storyline. Get captured in the 20 to 30 level dungeon, Wailing Cave, rescue the hanging Princess Mina and her party, and finally cooperate to strategize and break out from the dungeon. Wailing Cave. Level, 20 to 30. Forget it. Let's not think about it for now. I must first choose an initial profession to plan out specific tactics for the future. Escaping is crucial. Then he commanded, System, activate the initial profession selection. The system prompted, Received. Initial profession selection has been activated. Player by Chi, please choose your profession. Brave warrior. Close combat profession, equipped with a long sword and shield. Balanced defense and defense. Wood mage. Long range profession, using a staff and spells, capable of both attack and healing. Assassin. Close combat slash range profession, using daggers and throwing knives, emphasizing attack speed and agility. Elemental. Close combat slash range profession, using a single handed staff or bow, controlling the power of natural elements for attacks. Outcast. A despised and scorned role without any characteristics or extra armor, starting with only rags and a wooden stick. Bai Chi said, Why bother asking? My choice remains the same as when I first cleared the game. Outcast. The system wondered, With so many useful professions available, why did you choose the weakest one with the highest survival difficulty? I thought your choice this time would be different. Bai Chi replied, the profession choice in Throne of Souls affects early game survival rate and play style. Although it's possible to specialize in different professions in the mid-game, they still can't exceed the broad framework of the major professions. Only the profession outcast has its survival difficulty maxed out. As long as you endure the hellish despair of the early game, you can find a crucial hidden NPC in the mid-game to reset your attributes, allowing you to switch professions without any limitations. Despite its high difficulty, it offers the highest replayability. Plus, it has one major hidden feature. You can achieve all the profession achievements by unlimited profession switching, without having to start multiple playthroughs for different professions. That's also the reason why I became the first player to clear the game and simultaneously achieve all the achievements. The system sneered, I see. So the main topic is that you meticulously planned your adventures, worthy of a top-tier player. Then the main quests have been updated. Main quest, survive and reach the exit of the Wailing Cave. Quest reward, account unlock points, one point. Account unlock points, one point. One, unlock 25% of the items in the current game account's warehouse, random plus no usage level restrictions. Two, or randomly unlock a brand new game account, along with corresponding 25% usage rights for items plus skills. Upon hearing this, by Chi pondered, so, surviving and escaping the dungeon is the most important thing? Then, as he was just thinking, Gray interrupted, finally coming to your senses, kid, do you see that rope over there? Untie it, and we can all get down together, making our escape perfect. As Bai Chi reached near the rope, Gray informed him, that's right, it's that thing. Untie it, Daegu asked, untie it? Do you know the consequences of untying it? Without any hesitation, Bai Chi untied the ropes and set them free. Gray expressed his gratitude. Thank you, kid. My cocky self. If it weren't for you, we'd still be hanging there waiting to die. Degas said, instead of actively seeking death, I'd rather hang in the air and wait to die. Meow meow. Meanwhile, House grabbed Princess Mina and said, This isn't the time for that. Gray, find a way to wake up the princess. Gray replied, I am here. Can't you stop sulking all day, House? His words were interrupted as something came with terrible speed and smashed him, sending him to the wall. Witnessing the unexpected turn of events, Hows and Daegu frowned. It was a monster named Blood Axe, Modic, the Plague Beast Clan leader at level 30. The monster said, as food, you'd better stay put in the storage room. Hows wondered, this is. The leader of the Plague Beast Clan. Damn, how did it suddenly appear? On the other hand, Bai Chi contemplated. 
That's right. If I choose to rescue them. What awaits us is the boss battle of this dungeon. This battle is extremely difficult, and everyone must give their all. But if I engage in combat in my current state of no attributes, no level, no equipment, it's certain death. The key is to venture into the cave alone to obtain the account unlock reward. As for whether or not to come back to rescue them later, we'll see. Although they are important NPCs indeed, my survival is currently the top priority. As he stepped forward, Gray called out, Hey, kid. What are you doing? Why aren't you helping us? Are you planning to escape alone? What's going on in your head? Do you think you can survive and escape this whaling cave alone? Do you lack even the basic judgment? How said, I told you not to waste time on him. After all, he's just an outcast, with nothing, including intelligence and courage. I can assure you, he won't survive even a minute. Bai Chi replied, Is that so? No matter what I say, you won't believe it. You'll understand my intentions soon enough. It's about time. At that moment, another submonster appeared. Plague Beast Cub at level 5. As the monster saw him, it roared and charged forward. How said, see? What did I say? Ha ha. Even though it's just a level 5 Plague Beast Cub, this level 1, outcast, stands no chance, doomed to die. As the monster charged, Bai Chi thought, even if I choose not to rescue, the battle is still inevitable. While defeating a level 5 monster may be challenging, as the monster attacked, Bai Chi dodged, thinking, but it's not impossible. Bai Chi dodged another slash of the monster. Witnessing that scenario, Hao sneered, damn, dodging twice here. Is that kid just lucky? Gray said, although those two dodges were extremely clumsy, the timing was surprisingly precise. Daegu added, that kid is not simple at all. Meow, no. I should say all the regenerators are quite strange, but it's none of my business. Right now, I just want to go and die, Meow. With sudden dodges and his flexibility, Bai Chi contemplated, very good, there's no delay in the connection between my body and mind. Despite the lack of bonuses from professional equipment attributes, the countless battles have honed my reflexes and experience. Next. As the monster charged forward, this time he threw a grenade that caused a huge explosion, making the monster fall back. But unexpectedly, Bai Chi emerged from the explosion and slammed his wooden stick on the monster's face, pondering, the grinding begins. With that attack, only 5% of the monster's HP was depleted. A few minutes later, Bai Chi declared, that's the end, the last attack. The monster charged forward, despite having only 5% HP remaining. Bai Chi shouted, die, as he delivered a powerful blow to the monster. Witnessing that scene, everyone was shocked. Gray wondered, that level 1 boy. He was able to kill a level 5 plague beast without any damage. Just with a wooden stick. Degas said, I envy the way the beast died, Meow. How's added, I admit that I underestimated him. But even if he was able to kill a level 5 beast, this doesn't increase his survival rate. This is still a dead end. Meanwhile, Bai Chi was thinking, even if I can evade its attacks due to my experience and predictions, the power gap cannot be shortened in a short time. The stats and weapons I have are still too weak. But that doesn't matter, since I already chose Outcast, I should adapt to the unconventional playing style. Except for forced battles, any other fight should be avoided as much as possible. The system prompted, player by Chi defeated level 5 Plague Beast Cub, obtained 100 spirit points, 2 golden coins, weapon, broken mace, melee attack power plus 5. Level, 1 spirit points, 100 out of 1000 golden coins, 2 melee attack. Five of the remaining stats are yet to be unlocked. Seeing that, Bai Chi thought, my stat panel is as bad as expected. There are still 900 spirit points left until the upgrade. Killing monsters to level up isn't effective now. The ultimate goal is to escape from the cave in the fastest and safest way possible. As he stood up to depart, the three hanging by the roof requested, wait a minute, little brother, will you not think over my proposal? With more people, we'll be stronger and the chances of escaping alive will be greater. Let us down, and you can make whatever conditions you want. Golden coins, equipment, all are acceptable. At that moment, Princess Mina woke up and said, Gray, it's okay. No need to pester anymore. If you can't get out of trouble with your power, even if you die, it's okay. If you can't even overcome this difficulty, how can we overcome bigger troubles on the path of restoring our nation? 
Gray asked, Princess? When did you wake up? Mina continued, Even if I find your decision unwise as a level one abandoned child, I still respect it. Even if you were too confident in yourself, I still want to give you a piece of advice. There is a thin line between life and death, so be cautious. Hearing those words, Bai Chi pondered, even in such deep adversity, you can still maintain your rationality and elegance. Truly worthy of the title of Princess of Restoration, Mina Starlight. Then he replied, I do have my plans, but I didn't wish to share them. Even if I say I will come back to save you, you won't believe me. How shouted, what dash? This damn kid, is he joking or just insulting our intelligence? Mina interrupted, that's enough, house. If you have the energy to curse at him, then think of a way out. Hows nodded, yes. Princess. Bai Chi looked back and thought, according to the original plot, even if I don't save them, they will find a way to escape on their own. But if I don't, I will miss several achievements related to Princess Mina. To save them or not, it all depends on whether I can reach the exit smoothly and the kind of reward I will get. Allies are important, but my survival comes first. Wailing Cave. As the last dungeon of the first chapter of the game, it has many good things hidden. To collect all of them, I travel to every hidden corner of the cave, so I am already familiar with it. So if I want to encounter the smallest number of enemies with the lowest level, I can only choose that path, and I have to save a key character. As Bai Chi was pondering, a jar spoke up. Eh? Who? Who is there? Ah, this smell? You are not a plague beast. Come closer. Don't be afraid. Yes. That's right. You must be wondering how a jar is talking, yes? It's not the jar, but the person inside. I am ashamed to say that, I yes. I am the person inside the jar. I originally went into the cave to hunt for treasures, but I hid in the jar to avoid the plague beasts. But I accidentally got sealed inside by this crappy magic, and I can't escape. Yes. All you need to do is break the jar, and I will come out. Don't worry, I sense no plague beasts around, and it won't attract any attention. In the next moment, Bai Chi swiftly smashed the wooden stick and broke the jar. The jar person said, you did it. Amazing. You saved me. Huh? Level 1 abandoned? Hmm. Interesting. Anyway, I owe you a favor. The person in the jar introduced himself as Luchi, at level 27 and a human of an unknown class. I can satisfy any reasonable request. Bai Chi requested, my friend has been captured by the plague beast in this cave, and I want to save him but I am too weak. Please help me, Mr. Lucci. Lucci replied, So that's it. I see. Although you are brave, you are not wise. But you are lucky because you met me. You will be safe with me. Lead the way. As they approached through the cave, another monster appeared, this time a plague beast adult of level 18. As the monster charged forward, Lucci sneered, This smell. And in the next moment, he blocked the attack, his HP dropping to 70%. He shouted, you were the one who sealed me in the jar, right? Then, he stabbed the monster in the chest with his sword, reducing its HP to 50%. With anger in his voice, Luchi shouted, You left me to die in that jar. Die for me. With that, he slashed his sword and killed the monster in an instant. Witnessing that, Bai Chi was impressed. Good. Amazing. Mr. Luchi is so awesome. Luchi said, How can I dare enter this cave to hunt for treasures if I don't have any abilities? Let's continue. As they reached a cliff, Bai Chi said, This is it. I heard my friend's voice from down there. I don't know if he can hold on. Mr. Luchi, we have to find a way to save him quickly. Luchi said, That's easy. In the next moment, he pushed Bai Chi off, saying, My method is the fastest. Bai Chi fell, and Luchi exclaimed, Oops. My bad, my old habit again. As soon as I see someone standing on the edge of a cliff, I can't resist kicking them down. Hee <laughs> hee. But I could resist this impulse. After all, you saved me, but you are reborn. It's the iron law that such people will be punished upon discovery. As Bai Chi shouted from below, What? How did you find out I was reborn? Lu Chi replied, You fell from such a high place and you are still alive. Below, Bai Chi grimaced in pain. If I had jumped down by myself, I would have died. But since I was kicked down by Mr. Lu Chi, I did not. His remaining HP was only 5%, although I can't die. The pain of ruptured internal organs is real. Fortunately, I always know there is equipment below that can be picked up. The system prompted, 1. Blood Spirit Jar, Obtained. 1. 
glowing stone fragment, obtained. Luchi replied, Tisk, I have long heard that the reborn are very weird. It seems like I should not have kicked you down, but stabbed you to death with a sword from behind. That was my mistake. But you are trapped in the abyss now, you will die sooner or later. Just wait for it. As Luchi departed, Bai Chi pondered, Luchi, an insidious NPC who always likes to kick players into the abyss in the original game. You can read hidden areas and take advantage of the kicked but not killed mechanism. However, Reborn. This setting has never appeared in the Throne of Souls game. System, what is the translation of this, Reborn? The system prompted, Reborn, most of the information has been locked. The information that can be disclosed now is, it refers to people who came back from the dead due to unknown special circumstances. Bai Chi thought, information locked? It seems that this setting is vital, and information won't be given for free. We'll be punished upon discovery. This, Reborn, identity is too tricky. I have to be careful in dealing with it, so as not to suffer an unexpected end. No need to worry about that now. Although there are no plague beasts behind me, it's still an insidious terrain. I shouldn't let my guard down. The real danger has just begun. In the hidden depths of the Wailing Cave lies lost ruins of an unknown level. The Throne of Souls stands as an open-world action-adventure game, characterized by fragmented plot development and narrative techniques. Players must scour different sources such as NPCs, monsters, bosses, ruins, and other locations to unravel the truth of this world. Having cleared all levels and obtained every achievement, I possess comprehensive knowledge of this world, save for a few new mysteries. At the heart of the imaginary realm of Pascalo lies a colossal crystal known as the World of Souls, fostering harmonious coexistence among all species under its radiant protection. The world brimmed with vitality until the tranquility was shattered when a spacecraft the Deep Void unmanned advanced ship crashed suddenly into this realm. Coincidentally, the crash site of the alien spacecraft happened to coincide with the location of the World of Souls, leading to the collapse of the foundation of this world in an instant. Although Pascalo was nearing its end, it hadn't been destroyed. The world continued to divide and instead gave rise to more diverse species and civilizations. I find myself amidst the forsaken remnants of an underground civilization, within the desolation of the Wailing Cave. Here lies an enigmatic underground river outlet. My mission simply tasked me with surviving to reach an exit, yet it left the choice of which exit unspecified. This offers a chance to evade class, but... While this route bypasses the guard of the Plague Beast clan, its peril exceeds that of the main path. Survival here depends on precise navigation of platforms jutting from the rock walls. One misstep means certain death. For me, accustomed to countless deaths in exchange for experience, reaching the bottom of the abyss poses no problem. The only thing I must be mindful of is that as I near the bottom, the metal platforms become narrower, leaving less room for error. Even with knowledge of all platform locations, caution is paramount. As I moved in contemplation, suddenly my step slipped, but somehow, I managed to maintain my balance. Phew. Close call. Despite my increased caution, I nearly fell. I must proceed even more carefully. I must be nearing the bottom. Suddenly, a figure emerged from behind, inquiring, is the exit nearby? So the exit lies down there. My eyes widened, recalling the past incident with Luchi. Reacting swiftly, I brandished my wooden stick and demanded, who are you? The person deftly dodged the attack and backed away, wearing a sinister smile. Ah, oh, a level one outcast with quite the temper. Did I startle you? Ha ha ha, my apologies. His name was Harvey, a level 30 human elemental ranger. He continued, I shouldn't have surprised you from behind. I should have stabbed you right through the heart, killing you before you could react hee hee hee. Bai Chi shouted, Who are you? Why did you suddenly appear behind me? Suddenly, a realization struck him. Wait, are you the corpse from the bottom of the cave where I was picking up props? Could it be? You're also a reborn? Harvey leapt into the air and said, Hey, your reaction is too slow. But I don't blame you. Compared to me, who was directly reborn as a level 28 elemental ranger. You were reborn into a level 1 outcast body. You were super unlucky, haha. A side character like you. I don't even have the motivation to kill you. With that said, he used teleportation and suddenly appeared behind him, delivering a powerful blow to Bai Chi with his hands. 
Bai Qi's HP dropped to 50%, and he suffered from major blood loss. Bai Qi said strugglingly, cough, cough, cough. Why? I have never offended you. Why do you want to hurt me? We're both regressors. Shouldn't we help each other out of danger? Cough. Harvey replied, regressors helping each other? Are you joking? Could it be that your system didn't tell you? Regressors are the enemies of everyone, but their biggest enemies are other regressors. TSK, I thought you had some special ability since you were so familiar with the path. But it turns out that you didn't even know the most basic things. You completely wasted your one opportunity to be reborn. Bai Chi retorted, go away. Do you think I'll believe your crap dash? As he swung his wooden stick, it was broken in two by Harvey. Harvey remarked, Tis TSK TSK. It's normal for a level one outcast not to understand. Forget it. I don't need to waste any more time with you. But since you showed me the way, I won't kill you directly. He backed off, saying, Whether you live or die is up to you. If you're lucky enough to survive, I won't mind if you come for revenge. Ha ha. Bai Chi instantly questioned, System, why is this happening? Regarding regressors in this world. What other important information are you hiding from me? The system answered, it isn't deliberately concealed. You must unlock the hidden information of this world by yourself. Due to the special events you encountered, you have unlocked three pieces of hidden information about regressors. 1. Regressors are defined as evil heretics in this world and are hated by all species. The reason for this has not been unlocked. There is more cruel killing and competition between regressors. The purpose for this has not been unlocked. Player by Chi, not only can you obtain massive soul points, experience, but you can also obtain blood soul points. 2. Regressors are the collective name for people who are reborn in this world, but they are not limited to one single species. The reason for this has not been unlocked. Regressors are randomly reborn into creatures of different species, genders, jobs, identities, and levels. Low-level regressors will be easily detected by a high-level regenerator with just one glance. The reason for this has not been unlocked. The initial job of each regressor contains unique information about this world, aside from outcasts. However, outcasts can obtain unique information about other jobs through job changes. As for the difference between the systems of each regressor, relevant information has not been unlocked. As Bai Chi fell, he remarked, TSK, I'm already almost dead, so what's the use of telling me this now? The world of the throne of the souls is indeed not that simple. But, in the next moment, he grabbed the rock and pulled himself, blood constantly dripping from his body. Don't let go. I can't let go. I finally got a chance to be reborn. I can't waste it so easily. Just a bit more. I'm almost at the bottom of the cave. No matter how painful it is, I must endure. Unexpectedly, he leaned back, thinking, this is my final bet. And then he fell, colliding multiple times until he was smashed onto the ground. Now only 25% of his HP remained. Ha. Ha ha. I won the bet. The exit is just 10 meters ahead. I'll just have to crawl out. Suddenly, his attention shifted. Wait. This sound. This scent. A huge monster appeared a hidden rarity named Wigglytooth Fusion Beast at level 25. Bai Chi frowned. There shouldn't be any monsters here. How come? Why is there a Wigglytooth Fusion Beast here? I remember that there shouldn't be any monsters at the exit of this underground river. Why? Oh no. I need to take advantage of the slow movement of its first form and crawl to the exit as soon as possible. Chirp Dash With a disgusting sound, the monster dispersed into multiple eyeballs and surrounded by Chi. By Chi frowned, it split into its fast-moving second form so soon? That shouldn't be. Not to mention, it shouldn't be here in the first place. This is so strange. What's happening? Could it be that brat who did this dash? He deliberately lured the monsters out to trap me? Feeding intensely. Damn it. His appearance completely disrupted the situation that I had under control. According to the current situation, there's only one way this will end. Death. But. Don't underestimate me, who has gone through hundreds of battles dash. Aya. As he fell on the side, suddenly he screamed in pain. Strong acid corrosion. That's right. This underground river due to thousands of years of mutation and pollution, has become an acidic Styx river that can swallow up almost all living things. Although the pain I can feel through my bones is worse than death, don't underestimate my will to live. 
This is the only path left if I want to live. Although the water from this acidic Styx river is causing extreme pain, at least my clothes can act as some sort of protection. But to the wiggly tooth fusion beast that has its skin exposed, it's fatal. Moving clumsily. Chirp, chirp, chirp. I must crawl to the exit while they are still debating whether or not to risk their lives. By Chi's remaining HP was only 20%. I was finally able to start again. I will never allow myself to live the same way as I did in my previous life. Living a life of frustration and despair, I was born in a poor mountainous area. I thought that if I was admitted into a high-ranking high school in the city, I would be able to change my future by studying like others, so I left my mother and home resolutely. Bai Chi, what are you slacking off for? Why are there still so many unwashed plates? Either hurry up and wash them or get out. Bai Chi, what are you doing so late at night? You don't make good use of the daytime to study, cram last minute, and keep people up? If I see even a little bit of light, I swear to God that I'll punch you. Even though my part-time job is hard and I have to face the pressure of having to study, I will never back down because I still have hope. Thankfully, I was admitted into my dream university. Unfortunately, my mother was diagnosed with a terminal illness. My world has collapsed. All my years of sweat and hard work were all in vain. Although I gave up on my studies, worked hard, and borrowed money, I still couldn't save my mother. The customer complained. Why are you so late? I want to file a complaint and give you a bad review. Bai Chi replied, my deepest apologies. It was raining heavily, and there were puddles, so I was late because I ran here. The customer said, you think I care? If you can't be on time, then don't work in delivery. My food has gone cold. Shit. Working part-time and streaming games became my whole life. Although there wasn't anything special about my streams, my popularity skyrocketed because of one particular game. But when I was about to reach the peak of my life, I died unexpectedly. Though I already didn't care much for the concept of life and death, I absolutely can't accept this joke like death. Seeing myself being reborn into a game I was very familiar with, I was framed at the beginning of the game and had to endure this frustration. What a joke. He stood up, and with determination, he dashed and ran forward, exclaiming, I will never allow it. Before becoming the king of this world, I refused to die. As multiple pupils bit him, his HP dropped to 1%. The system prompted, Player by Chi, you have successfully escaped the Wailing Cave. You have obtained account unlock points. One point. Please choose. 1. Unlock 25% of item usage rights in your previous game account's inventory. Random plus no usage level restrictions. 2. Randomly unlock a new game account and the corresponding 25% of the usage rights, items plus skills. You have chosen option 1. 25% of the items in your previous account inventory have been unlocked. Please check. You have used Holy Blood Essence. Holy Blood Essence. God level consumable. Ah, what kind of existence is worthy of drinking this holy blood? Immediately restores 100% of blood. Permanently increases peak level plus 30. You have equipped the set Bloodthirsty Shadow. Bloodthirsty Shadow. Hidden Assassin Set. There is murderous intent deep within the shadows. Hidden Assassin Professional Set. Greatly improves agility and intelligence. Set Special Effects. Shadow Sting. You have equipped the Dagger. Scarlet Killing Blade. Scarlet Killing Blade. Double Dagger. The Scarlet Blade is as refined as blood. The best weapon for the Hidden Assassin, with rapid speed and strong lethality. Weapon Combat Skill. Scarlet Flame. With those ultimate weapons, he swiftly killed the pupils around in an instant. Bai Chi pondered, finally. I endured until the end. This is what a reborn king should look like. His level has reached up to 30. Chirp, chirp, chirp. With a disgusting sound, a few more pupils approached. Without any hesitation, Bai Chi charged forward and slashed all the monsters with his scarlet killing blade. He said, instead of taking the risk of unlocking a new account, Inheriting the props from my original account is the right choice. Even though it's only 25%, it's enough for the mid-early stage because all I kept in my inventory were top-quality props and equipment. Then he shouted, stepping forward, come. My story has only just begun. With his tremendous abilities, the pupils shivered and fused. Bai Chi wondered, why are you howling so loudly? I know you are in a hurry, but hold on. The system prompted, the hidden mission has been updated. 
Kill the Wigglytooth Fusion Beast. If you succeed, you will receive three times the soul points as a reward. Bai Chi tossed the Scarlet Blade and said, There it is. This was the mission reward I was waiting for. Then he used the skill Combat Skill Scarlet Flame, asking, Are you mentally prepared to be turned to mush? The real battle has just begun. With that said, he charged forward. Die. Chitrip Dash. The monster attacked but was easily dodged by Bai Chi. He said, I already know how you attack. As long as I am fast enough, I will be able to neutralize it. The suffering you caused me, bone excruciating pain. I'll pay you back twofold. Chire up dash. Then he used Scarlet Burn, a debuff caused by Scarlet Flames. Scarlet Flames will explode in the cut wound, causing damage for 15 seconds. Bone excruciating pain, a debuff caused by the hidden assassin's combat skills. The incision that goes deep into the bones will bring excruciating pain. Group dash. Are you in pain? Good. I'll put you out of your misery now. He used another skill, Shadow Assassination Formation, the ultimate combat skill of the hidden assassin. The player can transform into several shadow clones that will all focus on the target. The shadow clones are immune to all physical and magical attacks for five seconds. Chinrup. With those multiple attacks, the Wigglytooth Fusion Beast screamed in pain and then exploded. The system prompted, you have successfully killed the rare elite, Wigglytooth Fusion Beast. The side mission has been completed. You have received double the soul point reward, 18,000 soul points in total. Achievement earned. Sometimes a faint light is stronger than a raging fire. His level increased by 8. With that notification, by Chi pondered, I upgraded 8 levels in one go. Is this the result of level skipping battles and system rewards? Oh yeah. 666. 666. Leveling up in the Throne of the Souls is very difficult. Is the streamer a top student? 666. 666. Although useless, I admire the streamer's research spirit. Thumbs up. Upgrade from level 1 to level 2, 1,000 soul points. Upgrade from level 1 to level 3, 1,000 plus 1,500 dash 2,500 soul points. Upgrade from level 1 to level 4, 1,000 plus 1,500 plus 2,000 dash 4,500 soul points. Upgrade from level 1 to level 5, 1,000 plus 1,500 plus 2,000 plus 2,500 dash 7,000 soul points. Upgrade from level 1 to level 6, 1,000 plus 1,500 plus 2,000 plus 2,500 plus 3,000, 10000 soul points. Upgrade from level 1 to level 7, 1,000 plus 1,500 plus 2,000 plus 2,500 plus 3,000 plus 3,500, 13,500 soul points. Upgrade from level 1 to level 8. 1000 plus 1500 plus 2000 plus 2500 plus 3000 plus 3500 plus 4000 is equal to 17500 soul points. Upgrade from level 1 to level 9. 1000 plus 1500 plus 2000 plus 2500 plus 3000 plus 3500 plus 4000 plus 4500. 22000 soul points. Streamer. Are you going to take the postgraduate entrance examination? I was sure I clicked on a game live stream, so why is it math? By Chi thought, I once summarized the rules and values for obtaining soul points and leveling up during a game live stream. Although it had no substantial meaning, it was well received by the audience. The system prompted, 108 gold coins obtained. Filthy crystal bottle, 2x obtained. Prayer. Piercing of suffering obtained. Filthy crystal bottle. Restores 30% of blood volume after use. Prayer. Piercing of suffering. Attack type prayer. Summon sharp blades that will pierce the three-dimensional space around your body with a diameter of three meters. Activated by a kneeling posture of devotion. Number of uses asterisk three inch. This prayer is very useful. I tried to get this skill 30 times without success, but this time, it appeared after just one attempt. Since I am currently taking the job path of a hidden assassin, even with the bonuses of equipment and peak levels, the most important attribute is still agility. Agility. Level. 8. 30. Soul points in possession. 500 slash 4500. Gold coins in possession. 110. Unassigned attribute points. 80. Strength. 8. 30. Melee attack. 40. 30. Intelligence. 10. 30.
Ranged Attack, 10, 30. Agility, 30, 30. Spell Attack, 5, 30. Induction, 8, 30. Stamina, 15, 30. So all I need to do in the early stage is to mindlessly increase my agility. Finally, let's take a closer look at what else is unlocked in the 25% of inventory. HM. Most of them are consumables and ingredients. Eh. This is a bit embarrassing. I had many top quality weapons and professional sets, but it seems that I haven't unlocked enough of my inventory. But in addition to the hidden assassin set I'm using, I also unlocked two top quality sets. Blood Armor Dragon Set Drink Dragon Blood to get the Dragon Set. Berserker Set. It can be equipped by those with strength above 80. Highest grade heavy armor with both strength and endurance, which ordinary people cannot control. Dragon Spine Sword, the Bone Piercing Pain. The dragon whose spine was turned into a sword knows true pain. Only a two-handed sword made from a dragon's spine can cut through a dragon's indestructible skin. Starry Sky Prophet, look up and marvel. Look down at the prophecy. Magic Mage Set. It belongs to the branch of star magic and can be equipped by those with an intelligence of 100 or above. Deep Space Beacon, even in the dark universe, it can illuminate the way for the stars to return. A top-notch staff made of golden meteorites from the universe, which works extremely well when paired with star magic. By Chi Thought, even if these two top quality sets cannot be used now, the other items unlocked alone can ensure my survival in the early stage. Then, should I go back to rescue Princess Mina and her party, or should I just leave on my own? Although based on my understanding of the game, becoming a lone wolf wouldn't cause any problems, but now there are uncertain elements of the regressors. 1. How much does the original game change due to the emergence of a regressor? 2. Are there any other unknown elements that could change the original settings? Before this information is obtained, instead of taking high risks alone, it would be better to join Princess Mina's party and take on risks together while gathering information. According to the original plot, as long as I choose to save Princess Mina, they will also become important backup and assistance in the later stages. Even if they don't act out their roles according to the plot, and instead come after me, I still can protect myself now. Then I'll start moving. With that thought, he departed. Cheer up. Chew up. Numerous monsters continuously attacked by Chi. Bai Chi used the prayer of suffering that killed all the monsters around. Then he said, The monsters on the main route outside the cave have almost been wiped out, and the only battle left is the final boss battle. The system prompted, Player Bai Chi, congratulations on successfully reaching level 10. The reputation system has been turned on. Please check and manage your reputation at any time, and choose who to unite or make enemies with. Bai Chi wondered, Reputation system? This is another new setting that didn't exist in the original game. It seems that the lone wolf type of gameplay is not encouraged. The Princess of the Restoration, Princess Mina. Faction Reputation, Passing Enemy. Your desperate behavior has made Princess Mina's camp hostile to you. Current Reputation. Ah, oh, just how badly did they curse me behind my back? Shit. The more I think about it, the angrier I feel. I really can't understand how stupid that level 1 outcast can be to choose not to save us and die alone. But his body must have gone completely cold by now. Meanwhile, House said, Alas, I have long heard that all the regressors focus on their self-interests and have evil intentions. Why else would they be on the wanted signs of all countries? Daegu expressed, Ah, this method of death, being targeted by everyone, is not a bad way to go, Meow. I am me that guy, Meow. Mina urged, don't talk about these useless things. The original reason we were framed was because our skills are inferior to others. Of course, as the leader of the team and also the lowest ranking one, I have to take full responsibility. It was me who caused you all to follow me and die in vain. I'm sorry. Gray asked, What are you talking about, princess? We have sworn allegiance to you since long ago. You don't need to apologize to us at all. House added, Our previous complaints were not because we were afraid of death but because we were unwilling to see your great wish of restoring the country being deprived by an idiotic outcast before you had even begun trying. Suddenly, sharp blades emerged and pierced the ropes. Bai Chi said, that's right. Grace shouted, this is. Protect the princess, house. House grabbed Mina and fell. Everyone went to the surface. 
Daegu expressed his dissatisfaction. Tisk another failed attempt at dying. Meow. How's asked? Are you okay, princess? Mina nodded. I'm okay. Gray wondered. Who? Were they planning on saving us or killing us? Bai Chi approached and said, Don't be nervous. This was just a little payback for how you curse me out. As they saw him, they wondered, th this voice. Bai Chi revealed his face and asked, surprised? I said I would come back to save you, right? But the real surprise is coming soon. The boss will be here in one minute. Get ready for battle quickly. There is no time to waste. All of them frowned. It's you dash. 